Thank you, Thank Program you. Director. My name is Zakani Furumele from the South Africa. May I please go to the next slide? Regarding our current status is that currently South Africa is responding to a cholera outbreak and our status is as shown on the map. If you look at the map, we are having um, Houghton province, which is in, 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 in the central of South Africa, that has most of the cases, which is 176 out of the 197 cases that we have confirmed so far. And we also have other provinces. But what I can say is that 15 out of our 52 districts have reported confirmed cholera cases. And as of the 28, 26th of June, we have recorded a total of 1,087 suspected cases. We have a total of 43 deaths. Our case fatality rate is now standing at 3.3%, but cases are currently on a decline since the last case was confirmed on the 17th of June, 2023. Next slide, please. Coming to the national strategy of cholera and control and prevention, we don't currently have a cholera control and prevention task force that is set up. Why is because I think for me, it's the first time I've been in the program for more than six years, but this is the first time that I've got an invitation to this uh, platform. And we don't have much information on the global task force issues. And I think it's something that I'd like the organizers and the, and, the, and the people involved to know that and engage us more. But what I can say, we have a multi-sectoral national outbreak response team that is multi-sectoral and looking at general outbreak response in general. And for the current um, outbreak, we have set up an incident management team that is coordinating the response. We also have a notifiable medical condition system where we've identified conditions that should be reported within 24 hours. Some are reported within a week. So we are, that is helping us in the issue of surveillance. And as I've said, for me, I've never been part of the GTFCC, but regarding the issues of what we are currently having is that we, the National Advisory Group on Immunization in our country is currently assessing the need for us to use the oral cholera vaccines. And our peripheral labs network is very, very effective. And the issue of using RDTs is also not finalized. And what we should also know is that the OCV and the RDT are not registered with our regulatory authority, but the control of cholera is embedded in the communicable disease control program at the national, provincial, and district level. And cholera control activities are fully funded by the government. Next slide, please. Key achievement, I, can, I, I couldn't align what is needed with what we are doing. So at the moment, there's a lot that is going on, but I think my uh, limitation was the issue of lining, aligning what we're doing with, in, in, in line with the strategy that is being talked about. Next slide, please. The challenges is that we don't have an, a cholera strategy in place and we need to develop the national cholera strategy. And as indicated, South Africa was never part of the cholera development strategies and national exposure and training on this cholera strategy will be very, very remedial. Next slide, please. Our priorities is that we're going to review the cholera case management guidelines by March, 2024. We'll finalize our provincial readiness assessment by July, 2023 will review the national response plan by end of September, 2023. And we are planning to conduct an after action review on a cholera treatment facility that has since been decommissioned on the 21st of June. And the documentation and the SOPs that will be used to, for future treatment units because it was the very first uh, treatment unit that we set up in Hamaskra, which is in Gauteng, which is currently the epicenter of the cholera outbreak. Next slide, please. I think that brings me to the end of my presentation.